Hey everybody, it's Jay Kitchen from jaysbeard.com. I hope you're doing really well today. We are. It's a beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest. It was only in the mid-80s today, which is a nice break from the climate that we've been having. I'm shooting this in the middle of July. We're doing a review of something from one of my, my more favorite houses. This is the Aqua di Sale from Profumum Aroma. Check out the bottle. It's pretty standard for this brand. In the meantime, if you would subscribe and smash that thumbs up button, we would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. This fragrance was released in 1996, so it is almost, almost 30 years old. The name Aqua de Sal means salt water. I'm going to read from Lucky Scent some of the verbiage that they put down in their description of this. The soothing thunder of waves crashing against the shore. The tang of briny air, salt and sand and shells. It's all here in the most realistic ocean scent we have ever encountered. You can almost hear the gulls and feel the cool mist on your face. This is not a vague watery floral or a beachy blast of tanning lotion. This is the ocean itself. Soft woods keep aqua de sal from ever becoming harsh or stridently ozonic, and there is an undercurrent of extremely subtle sweetness. Instead of a beach teeming with sun bronze bodies and ice cream vendors, picture a wild, unpopulated stretch of coastline where you can feel the power of the sea and the serenity of being far from the matting crowd. Now, the fragrance notes, if you look to Fragrantica, there's no fragrance pyramid for this. It's just four notes. Salt, seaweed, myrtle, and Virginia cedar. The main accords that's listed on Fragrantica are marine, aromatic, salty, aquatic, herbal, fresh, spicy, and woody. So this, in some sense, is, is a freshie. It's an aquatic scent. There's some citrus in it, but it's more oceanic, for lack of a better descriptor. I sprayed this on about five hours ago. It's still lingering very much in the background, but it's a really to me it's a mouth watering scent when it's at its peak after about two and a half to three hours in that window it's really very very nice now we've got a little bit left we're going to respray ourselves i think if you super sprayed this particular scent in the summertime it's a winner i almost like it more than the citrus scents because it's Citrus scents kind of, they sort of blur together for a lot of people. It really is very oceanic. That salt, I mean, you don't have the prickliness of the salt water like when you go in the ocean, you know, and you got the little salt crystals kind of pulling on your skin. It's really very, very sexy. This is definitely unisex. And I think, you know, if you are really getting someone into your scent bubble, like within a foot, to a foot and a half of you it's really kind of intoxicating in a way it's not really strong it's not powerful it doesn't hit you over the head with its scent it sort of wafts around you really nice clean this is something that i would love to wear i don't know if i could really pull it off the way my body chemistry and the way my skin treats perfumes i usually need something a little bit more heavier and oily to kind of retain some sort of projection but this is really really nice Again, it's very understated, is the way I would say it. And, you know, when I say it, it doesn't do much on me, you know, it may be 180 degrees different on you. And if this is a scent that appeals to you, get a sample. Don't spend 285 bucks on the bottle, and it's not that heavily discounted. I mean, it's around, I've seen it for under 200 but that's kind of the exception rather than the rule. As it's drying down, I'm getting even more smells i definitely got a whiff of seaweed buried in there it's really really nice and the cedar sort of animates it all as i'm sitting here just kind of with my my hands are like folded my arm is down about a foot and a half from my nose the smell is sort of percolating up which is quite kind of unusual in my limited experience for aquatic scents, they don't really percolate like that, but this is doing that. And Profuma Roma, they've got some really good scents in their arsenal, I have to say. Wow, really salty. 
And in about an hour, it is going to be, for me, a mouth-watering kind of experience. I will go back and I will snarfle my arm and say, oh, yeah, that's really nice. And it is. I hope the review was helpful to you. I hope it brought you some uh, information that you might not otherwise have. If so, smash the subscribe button and the thumbs up. We really appreciate the support. In the meantime, please be kind to our fellow human beings and their critters. Stay lifted, stay well-groomed, stay smelling freaking awesome. And we'll catch you on the next review. Cheers, everybody. We love you.